miongoni mwetu. Uwepo wa wako na nguvu zako si miongoni mwetu. Na katika Yesu tunajua Bwana unatenda mema. Maana wewe ni Mungu wa kutenda mema. Popote Bwana unapopatikana wewe hutenda mema. Na tunajua Bwana kuna ushuhuda ambao unapatikana katika yetu. Kuna neema ya ajabu inapatikana katika yetu. Maana wewe ni mweza yote. Tukutukuza na kukuheshimu. Na tusema Bwana, tawala katika maisha yetu. Tawala katika mawazo yetu. Tawala katika mioyo yetu. Maana wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu na mtakatifu. Utukuzwe na uinuliwe. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. tuko watu wengi tumechanganyika kutoka mali tofauti tofauti sasa jiwe wenu unashangilia bwana aje sijiwe wenu nafanyaga aje lakini nataka tumshangilie bwana kwa sauti migelegele And he said, I will go up 
I am as thou art, my people as thy people, and my horses as thy horses are. And he said, which way shall we go up? And um, he answered, the way through the wilderness of Edom. So the king of Israel went, and the king of Judah, and the king of Edom, and uh, they fetched uh, a compass of seven uh, days journey, and uh, there was no water for the host and uh, for the cattle that uh, followed them. And the king of Israel said, Alas, that the Lord has uh, called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there no here a prophet of the Lord, that we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the uh, kings of uh, and oh, sorry, and one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel um, and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down uh, to him. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Get thee uh, to the prophets of thy father and the prophets of thy mother. And uh, the king uh, of uh, Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord has called uh, these three kings uh, together to deliver them into the hand of uh, Moab. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, and um, before whom I stand, surely, where it's not that, uh, over it's not for that I regard uh, the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I will not have a look toward thee, nor see thee. But now, bring me a minstrel. And um, it came to pass, when the minstrel played, uh, that the hand of the Lord came upon him, and he said, Thus says the Lord, uh, make this valley full of ditches. Uh, and uh, for thus says the Lord, ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain, ye that uh, the valley shall be filled with water, and that ye may drink, both ye and uh, uh, your cattle and your beast. And uh, this is just uh, but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the more by itself. Uh, also into your hands, and uh, ye shall smite up every fenced city and every choice city that uh, shall fell every good tree and stop all the wells uh, of water and mar every good piece of land with stones. Uh. And it came to pass in the morning when the meat uh, offering was offered, uh, that behold, that there came water uh, by the way of Edom and the country was filled uh, with uh, water. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Amen. Um, there are three mapia na sisi. Kuhusu this king called Jehoram. Now, I have titled today's message Alliances that has value or the alliances that have uh, value. Miungano ambayo ina dhamani ama dhamani not a good so here speaker. Miungano ambayo ina ni dhamani ama ni dhamani? Dhamani eh? Alright. Miungano igio na dhamani Alliances that have value Na Jehoshaphat as we see Was the king of Judah during this time Ambapo Jehoram anaanza tawara now, the divided kingdom ilikuwa the part of Israel ilikuwa imebaki na 
makabila mawili na the, uh, no, the, uh, makabila kumi na the side of Judah ilikuwa imebaki na makabila mawili that's uh, Judah and uh, Benjamin na the kings of Judah walikwata ni wazuri wanampenda Mungu na walikuwa wanafurahisha Mungu but the other side the kings of Israel this is after the division after Solomon um walikwata wa ovu na hawakumpendeza Mungu so Jehoram is coming at a time where by watu wa Mungu hawakuwa na kibali sana because uh, ivo thrives ama wakati mahali uovu umeinuka sana watu wa Mungu huwa hawana umaarufu huwa hawana sifa na hata huwa hawatakikani now this is just a kuanza kufungua kuonyesha ya kwamba ukitaka kuona mahali ambapo watu hawampende Mungu na uovu ni mwingi angalia vile ambavyo wanavyotizama watu wa Mungu the servants of the Lord. Either they are the prophets, either they are pastors, either they are evangelists, either wakona title zingine zozote. How people treat the men of God and women of God shows whether they are poor evil or they endear themselves to evil. Yani wanapenda maovu ama wanachukia maovu. Kwa sababu mahali ambapo watu wanachukia the servants of the Lord who are on a particular so individually nataka kuniulizie jirani wewe unaona mtumishi wa Bwana aje kwenu eh muulize mtumishi wa Bwana ni nani wako kwenu yeah if they mean nothing then it means the meaning is then uh, you love people kwa sababu ni mwambie mtumishi wa Bwana wako hapa watu ambao wanapenda so Israel. Remember the word Israel was given 
governor or the name Israel was given to a man called Jacob. And Jacob, Akambiwa, you will no longer be called Jacob. You will be called Israel. Maybe the Akamba, umebalikiwa. So when you read about Israel, don't forget they are blessed. So that they want to move. Like in the four people that are blessed, they have over 450 prophets of Baal and one prophet of God. Your balance is amazing. How do you want to move away? So, Niangaliki, Tiramani, Muli, the Nini King, Katakati, Yawale, Namuwako. And then they may have two who said a few of you will be Sometimes we don't want to say 
tutawaleta haribu hapa tunaweza kuwa challenge hapa tutaonekana vibaya hatutaonekana watu ambao wanajua kwa wanafanya mungu we we hide we hide akumbusha jirani usijivite now the bible says in the book of Matthew the chapter number 5 ya kwamba watu hawawashita alafu wanaiweka chini ya mbali wanaiwekaga juu ya and then anasema kwamba nyinyi ni nuru ya ulimwengu eh a city on a hill so remind your neighbor you are a city on a hill eh and a city on a hill is there for everyone to see Eh, na nilijia sasa ya kwanza kutoa wangu wa Mungu ambao akiwasemaka mimi sikaki mambo mengi nakataka tu ati ati wokovu iko kwa moyo eh, na pia napenda Mungu iko kwa moyo na mimi ninachua pia tunapeleka kanga na Mungu eh, ambia jirani hata wengine wajue eh, wani ni sisi hii ya Mungu ati ni sisi au hata wengine wajue vile mnapeleka kanga na Mungu ati ni sisi ati iko kwa moyo wanapenda Mungu ameokoka sitakaje mimi sitakaje hata kuhudumu shuhuda hata sitakaje kukutangana na watu wa Mungu unachanganya nanga na nani because that is the tragedy that we have today what we wanataka kukaa kizani wanataka kukaa kwenye nguo na wanataka kuonekana nao Jehovah was the son of Adam na aha sasa ashatoka katika utawala uliokuwa na kisa sana mahali ambapo righteousness ilikuwa ni kama ndio hivyo because sasa vitu zinaendaga uh, upside down wakati ambapo uovu umetawala ya kwamba eh eh hivyo is glorified eh? and righteousness uh, is demonized eh? wakati ambapo unaona haki ikiwa demonized the good things are godliness is demonized you should know ya kwamba there is an evil spirit ambayo inatembea na inataka kuinua na glorify ifo that's what was happening ya kwamba wewe ulikuwa umeinuliwa lakini haki imewekwa chini na imefichwa but what happens we see that Jehoram when he came into power he chose wisely and i love the way he chose I love the way it was because I'm talking about alliances that have value. Jehoram was a son and he grew up in a Arab. Na alipochukua utawala, there is a king somewhere eh, of the Moabites. Ambaye alikuwa tu anaangalia tu, anaangalia tu, akaona Arab ameondoka. Na of course Jezebel is out of the picture. Na akajua this is my opportunity. Akakata supply. Akakata supply. Alikuwa anawaelekea 100,000 more of wool. Yeah? And wool in the those places apart from like from the the east or the east. Wool ilikuwa nicho kitu chochote biashara eh? without it then umefungiwa kibiashara because you, you remember then they used to do this sheep ambazo ziko na manyoya zile za kunyolewa unajua tumbaki eh, kimore na sijua zinakuaga na kokoa zile kondoo eh? zinakuaga na manyoya unaona ni kubwa hivi and then kidi kinyolewa panakuwa tena kadogo chingo hili amekuwa <laughs> ndiko na ndiko naona ni kubwa kumbe nyingi ilikuwa na manyoya eh zinanyolewa so those who ndio ilikuwa zinatumika kutengenezea vitu vingi sana sio mabazi tu eh sio maplaket tu na sio uh, you know the textile industry tu lakini zilikuwa zinatengeneza vitu nyingi sana so without who then kibiashara umefungiwa Church 
eh hata mtu wa kuku wa kumchache eh wa kumweka moto akuwe mkali so akajua sasa nitakati hiyo supply so wakati ambapo hizi eh because they are literally one with one half an air they are the one half an air so a hundred thousand eh lamps and a hundred thousand more lamps so alikuwa amemkatia supply ya kila kitu anajua sana kukatia watu wa Mungu supply. Ukiangalia watu wanaloruka kwa sababu ya supply. Hawana supply. Hawana hichi, hawana kile, hawana hiki kingine. You know, uchumi unaharibika kwa sababu supply kuna eh watu sasa hizo wanalalamika atachakula eh ni bekan supply. Eh mmoja jirani jirani bado yuko kazini. Ah, eu vou lá, 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 vou lá
Bwana wanapata wamekatua supply. Na kikatua supply, they cry all over kwa sababu supply imekatua. Na watu wa Mungu ni wazuri sana kwa kumlilia Mungu wakati supply imekatua. But now I want you to look at this guy because that's the only point that I was driving and I'm going to break today. Ikomba, when the man realized we are doomed, and he realized to measure supply to him, eh? Biashara tuko nje. Sasa mapato tuko nje. Eh? International trade ambayo tuko nafanya tuko nje. Kwa sababu kile ambacho kilikuwa kinatufanya tuwe leaders in that front eh? ya kibiashara kimezuiliwa. And this king of Moab amekizuia. Who did he call? This guy akaamua kuita watu Uh, wawili hapa wa msaidie so ambia jirani nitafuta msaada <laughs> eh yeah. when you want to talk to the doctor he don't love us in for help but i think it's there akamongesha the king of uh, uh, Judah that is uh, Jehoshaphat and uh, the king of uh, Edom the king of And if you give me that particular mask, I would appreciate it. Now, this, this one you are you're talking about, uh, this is the book of Ruth, eh? Uh, Departs, Departs, Ephraim. What are you doing, my dad? Walichuana wafalme watatu, the king of Israel, the king of uh, Judah, and uh, the king of Edom. That is uh, chapter number three of second Kings. Eh? My budget is back here. Okay. And Jehoram, the son of Ahab, Abigail Maha, who father? Apo walichuana, when he sought for help. Eh? when he sought child for help or from the king of uh, Ham so the king of Israel to the king of Judah and now uh, the king of uh, Edom and uh, before this he had asked for help go back, go back akiongelesha Jehoshaphat there are some few words I want to pick there akiongelesha Jehoshaphat and uh, he Uh, sent to Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, saying, King of Moab has rebelled against me. Now, you see, there are several things ambazo zinakufanyaga utafute watu wa maana katika maisha yako. And one of the challenges ni wakati ambapo you are short of supply. Wakati ambapo umekatiwa supply, unatafuta marafiki wa maana. He went to the king of Judah. Now these three kings, uh, let me mention about them kwa sababu tunawajua na wengine hatuwajui. Now Jehoram is the king of Israel. Israel walikuwa wamekatana na Judah. Jehoshaphat is the king of uh, uh, Judah. Now ukiangalia the Moabites wa the children wa Lot. Yeah? The Moabites were the children of Lot. Amao wali 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 patana mtoto wake, eh? Father and daughter. Now the Edomites are the children amao walikuwa ni wa this brother of Jacob. He was God who? Yeah? Yes, this one. So Esau wale watoto wake they are called the Edomites. Chico watoto wake wanaitwa Israelites. Alafu wamegawana sasa Jehoram ni mfano wa Israel and uh, Jehoshaphat is the king of Judah. So ni watoto wa familia moja ambao wanaletheana shida na ni watoto bado wa familia moja ambao wanashungana na ili kusaidiana. In one house you can either get friends ama alliances ambazo zitakupa faida na baada hapo hapo 
ambapo unaweza pata allowances ambapo unatupa hasara hasara nao umesikia visa nini ambazo wakati the president of whoever goes to there the kuna wakati wana sign mikataba ambayo wanaita bilateral agreement so hizi mikataba zina zina kwanza za kusema kwamba sisi katika nchi yetu tutawafanyia hivi ama tutakuwa tunawaletea hii eh? na nyinyi mtakuwa mnatuletea hii like now for coffee to find its way in some foreign nations unapata ga bilateral agreement eh? ya kwamba kama maybe kwa sababu sisi tulikuwa ka inclined towards the british sana kwa sababu wao ndio walikuwa tulikuwa na mambo mengi zetu zilikuwa gaza za huko so that tunapata hata kahawa yetu labda ilikuwa inapeleka huko so kahawa ilikuwa inapelekwa huko huwezi peleka kila mahali kwa sababu ukikataa kupelekea yule ulikuwa unapelekea basi ataumia uanze kupelekea wengine ataumia that's why kuna shida wakati ambapo hiyo mikataba haifuati so the king wa Lakini kwa 
akiwa hizo alitafuta marafiki ambao ni wa maana. Ambia jirani tafuta rafiki wa maana. <laughs> you know, this analysis that happened listen to what this man is saying the king of Judah. Ah, uh, ati anamuliza will you go with me against the Moabites? So, uliza jirani tutaenda pamoja. Rafiki ambaye hapatikani ama alliance ya mtu ambaye hapatikani kwa kitu yako yote huyo si rafiki. Na hana ma anaweza kuwa rafiki lakini hana dhamani. Hana dhamani. They have no value. So uliza jirani marafiki wangu wana dhamani. So anauliza tutaenda pamoja anasema ah sasa sikia bila namwambia Words. 
These are very powerful words for a friend who is telling you that you come back. Kila siku kukana na mtu 
ananiambia mmoja hivi. Ananiulia soda na mkatenuso. Last 
the one is here. I was talking about uh, the, the, the covenant. Now I, I say one of the things ambassadors of God Fanika in covenant, but when you have to go to Bakana, where the poor Nazima were chinje, na wale pamu. They had to eat together. When they share their mama, that's a fitusa to see me as a kujibia. Maria to see me as a kujibia. Na kama kuna watu, ama kuna mahali watu wa mianguka. Katika the mani ya kujibika na miungano ni hapa. Kwa sababu, eiga, wekine, wanadanganya wekine. Wakulake sa wekine tu. Lakini zao, hazi kulimi zine maruliza hapa. Kuna wekine kujibia. So, we have to call the name of the people who are busy. What do you want to do? I don't to
chako, ama chako, ya? Then uko na shida. Kama pasani ya kundi hapa, kama tu wakatange wa kwa hindi. Kama atawai kula, ya? Then uko na shida. Mali 
Because this 
one has broken fellowship. Yes. So kumbusha jirani, ujumbe ni gani? Eh, kumbusha ujumbe, mimi ni wangu tunahubiriki na nini? Kwa nini mimi peke yake tunahubiriki? Kumbusha ujumbe, ujumbe ni? Ha? Alafu mwambie pointi ya kwanza. Jehoshua alisema nini? Aliulizwa, "Ukaenda na mimi?" Muulize ukaenda na mimi. Eh, muulize ukanipeleka? Anasema? Ndio. Eh? Aha. Alafu ya pili? Mimi na wewe? Ya tatu? Watu wangu? Ni kitu? Alafu? Mhm. Mhm. So, angalia mmoja mmoja kama kuna kagari kwa mahali. Sasa hapo kagari zimekuwa tatu. Sikwanza kwa kabilia hii sikuje. Ninawakabilia sikuje kwa wingi katika jina la Yesu. Ciao! 
makongo na wale wanakaribishaka watu na wale wanapenda wageni ninawaongea katika jina la Yesu next year a time like this katika jina la Yesu maisha yenu yatakuwa yamebadilika hali zetu za kiuchumi zitakuwa zimebadilika ambao hawa drive watakuwa wana drive katika jina la Yesu kila ambacho umekikotea kwa miaka mingi utakuwa umekipokea kwa jina la Yesu Kristo simu yenu tumekona na waombe katika jina la Yesu ninaomba neema ya Bwana iwashukie katika jina la Yesu utukufu wa Bwana uwe juu yenu katika jina la Yesu Bwana awashukie katika jina la Yesu na hata mali yenu ibarikiwe katika jina la Yesu na ili kila wakati hamtakosa hata za kupeana hata za kushirikiana katika jina la Yesu ninaomba kuwa na kipimo ishuke juu yenu katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninaomba mtukufu wa Bwana uwajie katika jina la Yesu na ili muone Bwana in Jesus mighty name amen mshangilie Bwana haleluya mshangilie Bwana amen Mame, okay. Amen. Tunataka tutoe sadaka zetu. Kabla tufanye hivyo, bibi ulikuja katika nyumba ya Bwana na tukio tumeunganika hapa kama kongamano moja kuna hitaji ambalo labda unasikia hili siwezi yeza nalo nyumbani ni lazima ni pate maomi tuko mahali sawa mahali ambapo nguvu za bwana zinatembea na konya na guza katika jina la Yesu kama uko hapa unaona hitaji ambalo unasikia hili siwezi yeza nalo nyumbani tutaliombea katika jina la Yesu ya show me by your hand that should be by your hand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. For all of you, for all of you, maybe you want to be here. But you know what to be here for? Baba Katika Dina Yesu. Baba. Baba Katika Dina Yesu. The Baba Ushukia wa Tuhawa. Uwa Kusa wa Tuhawa. Amba wa Mekili wa Wataki Kwele na Manta Jiao. Amba wa Mekili wa Wataki Kwele na Manta Jiao. jina la Yesu Kristo mkono wako ushuke juu yao sasa katika jina la Yesu utukufu wako uwe juu yao katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba Bwana mkono wa uponyaji ushushe juu yao na ili wapone walio wagonjwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo wale ambao wamesuiliwa and they are supplied Jesus, 
ni wakati mzuri tutatoa matoleo yetu dosta giving um hits basha siku katikati yenu you can get an envelope by the archive and the offerings tarisha sadaka yangu nzuri kabisa ndema tutaiombea That mentality is the one that has restrained us from making progress that are wakati ambapo tunapoachilia mali yetu kwa Bwana yeye jambo la kwanza mhifadhi ile ambayo imebaki na jambo la pili yeye kufungua milango zaidi na kutubariki so it's not just as something that we are used to say it's not just about that the money your money is not the issue na watu wanashinda na pesa zao they see as though it could was an apparent your money is not bigger than god god is bigger than money he was there before money came. He is the creator of silver and gold and everything else that you need. And if, if you withhold it from God, uh, God will hold, will, will hold all those good things. But it is here today. He will bless you indeed. We are, are going to pray for the offerings. Then we are going to come. Uh, uh, in this hour, there is a box uh, up on uh, this other aisle, there's another box there. You're just going to come and give your offering of your tithe there and then return to your seat as we are led by a song. Uh, for those that are giving through the numbers, that's a pay bill, that's a pay bill account. Uh, you enter 400, 200 and the account is there. Uh, so let me, let me have the tithers, those that are tithers. If you are tiny, just come in the presence of God as we pray for the tithers. Then uh, we are going to give in the presence of God. If you are coming down. Every 
act of uh, generosity and giving into your kingdom uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we worship you. Oh, we bless all the offerings and tithes uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray. Everybody say, Amen. 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 Amen.
Et c'est une Si tu me finis à place du carré, c'est une Yeah, we are told if you want to go far, go alone. And if, when you want to go fast, go alone. When you want to go far, go with others. Amen. And you can generate two categories between you two to make this sure that you are able to get to end an hour because it's our end of the year get together. You are together by 2024. Isn't it? We will go together. So have you made that or we will go together? Yes, we are not going alone, we go together. Uh, and we are get together yet. I love to look back to the Tangaza and Wamba Pia to talk about our ordination. We are having ordination. Now, we are working on the work of 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 the Yani tunawatenga kwa kasi mzuri ya mungu Na ni watu wabaya wamejaribiwa siku ya leo Tunawazee wamejaribiwa kwa muda Tunamajikon wamejaribiwa Na wamehitimu siku ya leo Kutangazo au kutukweko wakifu na kutengwa Kwa jiri ya kasi ya mungu Hili waweze kumtumikia mungu Wakiwa na a special anointing Kwa sababu tea watakuwa wame, wame odeniwa au wameme kwa wakifu mbele zake mwana Kwa kazi hiyo nzuri ya mungu Waka otengu wa wakifu siku ya leo Wajue ni kwa sababu ya kazi nzuri ya mungu What you are doing you are going to do it better Amen, Amen. Because you have a special anointing From our presbyter We kerea mkono Tujue tunatengwa hili We will do the best that you are not doing. Uh, Tukwa na waze wa kanisa uh, kwa sababu ni mepewa hii kibari na uh, my presbyter. Thank you. Hili niweze kuarika watao tengwa au watawekwa wakufu siku hii ya leo. Siku ya leo tuna waze wa kanisa ni taansa na elders uh, of New York Presbytery worldwide most prosciutto presbytery Ordination service for our elders. It will answer our ordination. Our elder Wilfred Munyao Wabua. It will soma CV. I will be saying this session. Elder Wilfred Munyao Wabua. The presiding minister, Presbyter Benson Gaido. Invited. Uh, invited guests and saints of Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya, Loyal Presbytery, before you today is Wilfred Munyao Wagoa. I request him to come here in front. Wilfred Munyao Wagoa, Profile he was born in the year 1970. He is married with four children. He has served as men fellowship chairman and church treasurer, among others. He reached from four in education and is currently a, a, currently a theological student in Dika. He is a businessman dealing with properties. I therefore wish to present to our presbyter, Elder Nyao Abua Ordination. <laughs> Next, we have ordination service for our Elder Dixon Daboki Nyao. The presiding minister, Presbyter Benson Gaido, invited guests and saints and worldwide host to the Church of Kenya, the Lord Presbytery, before you today is Dixon Daboki of
sorry for the name, uh, or oh, his elder son, Nabot Mayao, Colin Mayao, and Kinan Mayao. So this is confusing. <laughs> there are two. I think in this presbyter, we are blessed. Today we are ordaining two great men of God from Kabad. <laughs> yes. We have the profile of Ebla Daboki as follows. He was born in the year 1972. He got born again in 1998 and was baptized in 1999. He married in the year 1995. He has served as a deacon, evangelism chairman, and praise and worship leader, and a Bible, and he leads Bible study in the church. He started, he started up to high school. I therefore wish to present to you my presbyter, Elder Dixon Daboki Mayao, for ordination. He was born in the year 1971. He got born again in 